last BGE video, we actually went over a first-person camera, and today I want to I want to focus on AI. Hey guys, welcome back to Spy Kai, I'm Kai, and today we are back in Blender, taking a look at the Blender game engine again. Today, I got a comment a while ago about an AI system, which is why I started uh, making videos in the BGE in the first place. I did the first-person camera tutorial a little what a little bit ago. I can't speak today. I don't know what's up with that. But uh, we're taking a look at AI pathfinding today, and if I play this real quick, you should be able to see that I can move around, and this cube follows me around wherever I go, and it goes around the um, the little the little wall we have in between us, and, and uh, that is what we're going to be focusing on today. It's super super cool stuff. So what I want to do is uh, first let's take a look at this. Um, I want to get rid of everything in our scene, so I'm going to delete all of these nodes that I have hooked up here, and I'm going to delete this as well. Um, so, um, what I can do here is we can select our cube, and with our cube selected, I'm going to turn off collision bounds because we don't need that. And um, I'm going to have two different cubes here. I have, um, I have me, which is, which is our character, and then the enemy character, whatever that is, whatever uh, object you have uh, that's going to be chasing you around. Um, so, in this case, I have a red cube and a blue cube. So, uh, I'm going to make sure our cube, our enemy cube, is set to dynamic physics type in the physics tab over here all the way on the right hand side and I um, could either be set to character or dynamic I'm gonna set me to character and make sure actor is ticked uh, just so we can make sure I can still move around here which is really nice um, so that's good all right so uh, now that we have all that set up we can go ahead and actually create our AI pathfinding system and what we have to do here is not as simple as oh just say hey, go around and you know chase the blue cube we actually have to make a uh, a place for our cube our enemy cube to actually walk on and you're like well we have a plane for that but he does not know where to walk initially so what we have to do here is I'm going to shift D and duplicate our our surface our walking surface whatever that is um, and I'm gonna make sure that it's just a little bit above our actual plane so it's just sitting a, a little bit above our actual plane which is what we want I'll go back to material mode all right so uh, this new plane, I'm going to hit tab and make sure this is subdivided a little bit. As you can see, the plane that I already had was a bit subdivided, so this new one is also subdivided. So I hit subdivide on this, I think, like five or six times, something like that. Let me let me limit to dissolve these faces and do that one more time. Uh, so one, oh, wait, I can't do that. Let me just create a new plane and scale it on up. We'll scale it to about right there, and we'll go one, two, three, well, yeah, three, maybe four. Yeah, we'll do four times. All right, so now because we want our cube to walk around this um, this wall, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to cut out a section for him to walk walk around. So what I'm gonna do I'm gonna I'm gonna go face face select mode. Man, I really can't talk today. I'm gonna go to face select mode and uh, select these faces where the um, where the wall is intersecting. So I'm hit uh, five seven on my uh, on my numpad, hit B on my keyboard, and then just select all of these faces right here. And uh, we're gonna scale those down so they fit the um, so they fit the uh, the wall a bit better. Um, we don't want it to intersect with the wall, so you have to make, make sure that all of the edges are not inside of the wall. Um, so it looks pretty good. And then we're going to hit uh, delete faces. I'm gonna move this down a little bit so it's actually touching the plane. All right. So now we have all that set up. What we can do now is with this plane with the hole in it. You see that plane right there? With the plane with the hole in it, we can actually go ahead and go to this scene tab and uh, and downsize um, the navigation mesh, or open rather, open the navigation mesh and hit build navigation mesh. And what this has done is, as you can see, it added a third plane on top of our other plane. Um, and what it's done is it's created this really, really weird, crazy, colorful, hectic uh, uh, navigation mesh. And this is pretty much what is going to tell our enemy cube what we can actually move on, what he can actually move on. So with the with the plane that we made, you can see that it has it has uh, gotten rid of that, and now we only have the solid uh, the solid uh, plane that we made, right? Then the uh, base plane that we had, and now we have the colorful mesh. So we don't need this this um, plane that we made with the hole in it. We don't need that anymore, so we can get rid of that. So now we only have the base plane and the navigation mesh that it just created. All right. Hopefully that made sense. All right. So, in solid mode, it will, look, it will look like this. In material mode, it will look just like a regular plane with a hole in the middle of it. All right. 
Um, so now if we play this, nothing's going to happen still um, because our our cube doesn't have any any you know thing telling it what to do. So we're going to open up the logic editor once again by splitting our window with the little triangle but right there. I'm going to change this cube to a logic editor, and we're going to get rid of that prep because we don't need it. All right. So with our cube selected, I'm going to um, uh, with our with our plane selected. Sorry, I'm going to go in five one on my numpad, and we're going to make sure this is as close to the line that red line, which is also our other plane, as possible. All right. So it's pretty much just sitting on top of our other plane now, which is nice, uh, which is what we need. All right. As you can tell, our cube kind of just pops up right there, which is not good because it looks like it's kind of just you know poofing pooping up. Um, so what we're going to do is with our cube selected, I'm going to change this. Uh, I'm going to turn on collision bounds. And as you can see, now he doesn't pop up, which is what we need, right? He doesn't pop up now, which is great. All right. Ooh. All right. So what we can do now is we can go ahead and make sure um, we have everything set up for our cube in our plane. So with our plane, with our with our cube selected, I'm going to add in a, I'm going to add in a always actuator, and um, an always sensor, and we're going to add in an actuator of steering, and we're going to connect those two by dragging this little line. And putting that into there. We're going to downsize that and that because we don't need either one of them. All right. So now, if I were to play this once again, it will do nothing as well because we haven't told it what to do, but we're getting there. The target object will be our our, our blue cube. So I'm going to actually call this um, blue. We're going to call this us. Yeah, we're going to call that us. And we're going to call this enemy cube um, them. Us and them. Yeah, sure. All right. So the tar target object is going to be us. Because that's going to be our character, and the navigation mesh is going to be nav mesh, and that is this this colorful um, plane that we have here. That's this colorful thing right here. That's what nav mesh is. As you see down there, it says nav mesh. All right. Um, so with our cube selected once again, we're going to take a look at this once again. Um, and now what we can do is, if we leave this on seek, you'll see what happens here. He kind of smacks into the wall and goes, "Oh, I don't know what to do." Ooh. And this um. This wall right here, if we don't have collision on it, you can see it still doesn't make a difference. So what we're going to make sure is we have this cube is um, we're going to make sure that this doesn't does not say no collision because if it says no collision, you should be able to see that it goes straight through. That's not what we need. We need this to say uh, static if you don't want the character to push it. So we're going to make sure our our wall is on static because if it's not, then it'll then the cube will just go straight through like the no collision that we had seen earlier. And I also want to make sure that our cube is on dynamic. Once again, like I said, our cube is on dynamic. And if we have all of this set up, we can change the behavior to path following. And then if we play this, you can see that our cube will actually walk around the, uh, the, the, the wall, but it actually gets stuck on that. And the reason for this is because our navigation is a bit too close to our cube. So I'm going to scale that up just a little bit like that, something like that, right? Yeah, looks pretty good. We're going to make sure that's nowhere near our wall, which is like that. And we're going to once again hit uh, nav mesh clear data, nav met reset index values. All right, yeah, so like I'm saying, we're going to hit clear data, uh, reset index values, and now everything should be completely fine. You can see that our, our cube will go around the wall and attack us. So, um, like I said, you don't have to rebuild the... Um, the navigation mesh if you want to change it so if like if i want to change this to be that big i can just go ahead and clear data uh reset index values and now our cube will do something really weird because now it's inverted um but yeah like i said you don't have to rebuild it you can just go here to clear and then reset and then um fix that right on up so our cube is kind of going slow right now so that we can turn the velocity up to 10 and now um and now it'll, it'll chase us and it'll smack it into us all right that is pretty much that. I can go ahead. I can play this game now. I can walk around, and he will chase us no matter where we go. He's going kind of fast now. This is this is intense. Ooh, my gosh. All right, so we can go ahead and walk around anywhere we want to, and you can see that he will follow us. If I run off the edge, he will still try and follow us. Now I'm walking. Now I'm, like, falling, and he's still following wherever I'm falling. Um, so that is that. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I hope it made sense to you. Um, I'll see you guys in the next tutorial, but until then, bye.